The latest iteration of Google's Android is the Android Nougat and it brings lots of new features and changes to the table from which most of the users are aware. But that's not all. There are also some cool hidden gestures and tricks within the Android Nougat from which users are not aware and that's why I am making this video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you 11 super cool hidden gestures and tricks of Android Nougat which you may not know. So hey guys, this is Samir from Extreme Droid and without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. First, drag and drop text in multi-window. Android Nougat's split screen feature is considered as one of the best implemented feature which has changed the way we used to do multitasking in Android devices. But do you know that there is a hidden feature which lets you copy text from one window to other just like this. It's still a half cooked feature from Google and that's why it supports some selected apps. But the fact that it is present in this version of Android means Google will improve it in the next build. Second, one finger zoom. Now how we normally used to zoom in and out any picture or any other stuff in Android. I know most of you will say by using the pinch in and pinch out gesture of two finger and I completely agree with you. But in Android Nougat, you can perform the same function by using only one finger. Isn't it cool? So let me show you how. Let's take this picture. Now to zoom in by using one finger, just double tap it and hold the screen. Then just move your finger up and down to perform zoom in and out. It's really easy to get used to. You can use this gesture in Google Maps and in some other apps also. Third, Quick Launch Camera In most of the Android devices, there is no dedicated button to launch the camera app. Now the question arises, do we really need a dedicated camera button? Hmm, in my option, yes we do, because sometimes we have very less time to capture a moment which may be very important in our life. So to overcome this, Google has added a feature in display setting by enabling which you can launch the camera app by just double pressing the power button and personally, I think it's very handy. Fourth, Power Notification Getting notification from some unwanted apps could be really irritating and notification management was not that much better in the previous version of Android. But in Android Nougat, there is an option inside the system UI tuner for even more deep control over notification and it is known as power notification. There are various level of notification access which can prevent notification from showing when an app is full screen but still make a sound or vibrate instead of outright blocking them. Activating power notification setting in the system UI tuner adds a new slide to notification settings that allow you to pick how important they are instead of the app automatically picking for you. Fifth, Keyboard Gestures Well, we all do mistakes while tapping and to correct them by putting the cursor at right place could be a time consuming task. But in Android Nougat, there is a gesture which will get the work done in less time. By just swiping left and right over the spacebar, you can move the cursor in more suitable way to make the corrections. There is also a very handy gesture in the new keyboard through which you can delete some specific word or the whole sentence by just holding and swiping left back button. And I think these gestures will definitely reduce your time and effort. Sixth, Change the DPI and font size if the text and icon on the screen are just too big or too small for you, then now you have the ability to adjust how big or small it should be. In Android Nougat, you can adjust the font size as well as display size according to your comfortability. Just go to the setting menu, then click on display. At the bottom, you will find both these options. This feature was not available in the previous version of Android. Seventh. Hold recent tab to open app info. There are times when you want to know how much data or storage is consumed by an app or what permissions are granted to that specific app. To check that, you will basically go to the setting menu, then app settings, then you will be able to access the app info. And personally, I don't like to go through from all these settings. What if I told you there is a simple gesture to do the same thing? You just have to open the recent tab and just click and hold at the left corner of the specific app. Now this i button will pop up at right corner and by just clicking it, you will be able to access the app info. 
8. Open two Chrome browser at once. Multi-window is a very handy feature of Android Nougat, which focuses to improve multitasking. But do you know, Google Chrome has its own special feature of multitasking. You can effectively open another tab of Chrome in the second half of the screen, which is really cool as well as quite useful. To do that, you just have to tap the three dot at the right corner of Chrome while you are in multi-window mode. There you will find an option called move to other window. Just click on that and boom, you have two instances of Google Chrome in multi-window. Ninth, switch between apps. Android Nougat has redefined the meaning of multitasking and this time I am not talking about the multi-window feature. Actually there is an inbuilt feature of Android Nougat through which you can switch between two recent apps by just double tapping the recent soft key. I find it useful for emailing details of something I am reading online or more often looking up details of some weird film I have stumbled into on Netflix. Tenth, two finger pull down for toggles. There is a newly designed notification panel with some new features and cool animations on Android Nougat. And to access the toggle menu, you have to pull the notification panel twice because if you pull it once, you will only be able to see the recent notifications. But if you want to access the toggles directly, then you just have to do two finger swipe like this. And by doing this gesture, you can easily get into the toggle menu. I know some of you may not find it that much handy, but I find it useful. Now the last and the 11th one is swipe up gesture to enable multi-window. As I mentioned earlier that the multi-window feature is one of the best implemented feature by Google and the old school method to enter in multi-window could be really irritating sometimes. But do you know we can enter in multi-window mode by just performing a simple gesture like this. You can enable this gesture from system UI tuner and believe me it will be really useful. So guys that's it for this video. If you think I had missed some tricks and gestures then do let me know that in the comment section. And don't forget to click the subscribe button for more future updates. See you guys in my next video.